guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today's video is going to be yet another Amazon video. Favorites. I love filming these videos. I've actually become quite passionate about them. It's been like a way for me to talk about products that I'm passionate about. I love and how I use them. And that has just been like, honestly, it's like therapeutic in a weird way to me. Also, if you see this loop de loop in my hair, it's because I was doing really cool hairstyles with Erin and it has hard gel in it. So I can't really take it out without washing my hair. And if I ever do anything with my hair makeup or nails that is not completely in the norm, if it's something different, I always get comments of people telling me how much they hate it. And that is because people like normal things. <laughs> so if this bothers you, Okay, so with today's video, I am extremely excited because it is going to be home decor. I've done like under $10. I've done Amazon clothing hauls. I've done just random like beauty favorites. So if you want to check out those videos, I'll link them down below for you. Um, but today we are going to be doing my home decor. Now there is a channel I will put right here. Um, I did get a couple pieces off of her. I watch Amazon favorites myself sometimes. So um, I did get a couple pieces of her home decor haul. So shout out to her. Also, I'm going to be taking you guys around my home to show you guys how I've used these items to decorate with um if you didn't know you don't follow me on ig story well then honey you're only getting half the story but if you don't follow me on ig story then you don't know that i'm redoing quite a few pieces in my home like parts and rooms in my home you'll see more of that on my channel i do plan on filming that more because you guys have seemed to be enjoying that so with that being said um you'll see more of that but my home is not finished so you'll see pieces and be like oh well, i feel like every time i show any of my home um people were like you should do this or that or it looks really empty right there and so i have to like constantly disclaim like i'm not finished um, so i kind of quit showing my home on ig story as much because i understand it confuses people they're like it don't look good and i'm like i know and i have to just keep saying over and over it's not finished so i'm just like i'm just gonna i just won't show it till it's done but i'm gonna show you a little bit today just know it's not finished and i will do an updated home tour for you guys probably in august when we can leave our house again <laughs> Okay, with that being said, be sure and subscribe to my content. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And let's go ahead and let me show you some good stuff. Okay, the first piece is this. Okay, so I'm going very neutral vibes with my home. And it is this wooden bowl I am absolutely obsessed with. If I would have bought this off of a fancier website, it would have cost me a small fortune. This is what it looks like. It is quite large. It is extremely beautiful. And I love the light wood and the texture on the outside. This would also be pretty, not this shelf because it's too big, but if you set it up on your shelf like that. Oh, I'm trying to get back far enough so you can see. I think it'd be really pretty displayed like that. It would be really just beautiful displayed in your kitchen with storage fruit, veggies, whatever you want to put in it. Honestly, decor, flowers, doesn't matter. Um, or it'd be pretty just sitting on a shelf. Um, it'd be pretty sitting on a in the centerpiece of a table with moss or decor coming out. The uses for this specific piece are endless. And because it is just like a raw wood, it matches so well. I'm obsessed. The next piece is actually this 80 book. This piece I spent a good bit on and I wasn't going to buy it and then I was going to buy it and then I wasn't going to buy it and then I ended up buying it. So I did splurge on this a little bit, but I absolutely love, 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 love the coloring of the 80 book. Um, by the way, this is Architect Digest and not only is the book pretty, this is not from Amazon. By the way, it's Architectual Digest. That is the brand of it. They are a magazine. But the inspo for homes is endless in this book. So not only is it pretty, it's actually useful for getting inspo out of the book. Um, so I thought it was worth the splurge and set that on top. But again, I'm not finished with these shelves. I'll show you the finished shelves when I get them. <laughs> the next piece from Amazon Home Decor. You're like, is it all Amazon? It's, it's a lot Amazon, people. <laughs> it's these wooden beads. So you get a pack of more than one. By the way, these are like a dupe because... Uh, Pottery Barn sells these and they cost your arm, your leg, and your soul, okay? And then they ship in July. I'm not kidding. Pottery Barn is selling these to ship in July and August. It's a joke. These are on Amazon for a tiny fraction of, of the price and you get so many of them in a pack. I love decorating with these. The wooden beads have got to be my probably my favorite piece to decorate with, period. And also, I'll link down below the two coffee table books are from Amazon as well. 
So the Chanel book, and then I think it's a Vanity Fair, 100 years. If you look at the Vanity Fair book, it's really interesting, but they're both from Amazon. And it's just like a much more affordable way to decorate. But again, I actually will probably pull the black book and do a neutral book, but just working on it. All right, my next piece from Amazon. This is another dupe. This is on McGee & Co's website. It's sold out and it's vintage and it costs so much. They're so expensive. This is on Amazon. Looks exactly the same for a fraction of the cost. There's some more wooden beads. Um, so insane. Love it. It's gorgeous. It is kind of smaller, if you can tell by my hand size. Um, but I think it just adds such nice detail. I love vintage looking pieces. I love the color of it. It is perfect for my home. I'm obsessed. So it's just another of my many, many Amazon pieces that I love. Welcome to my spare bathroom. Hello. Say hello to my loop. Hello. <laughs> Okay, but this is a home item. This is hand soap now. So this is a hand soap and I love, love, love the packaging of it. I actually like it better than the Bath & Body Works hand soaps. I like the packaging better, but I like the formula better because it is very, very, very moisturizing. It's probably like the most chic bottle of hand soap I've ever seen. It's huge, so you get like way, 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 way more product than you do in the Bath & Body Works ones. It's so heavy and nice, and they also have it in different colors. I think I have it in black with white writing, but it cannot be more perfect for a bathroom. And here's the kicker. If you just wanted to get the hand soap and buy the nice one, you could keep the bottle because this unscrews and you could refill it with your own cheaper hand soap. So you're kind of getting, uh, it's glass by the way too, it's not plastic. It's like an actual glass bottle. So you could refill it. So you're kind of like buying a decor piece for your home you get to use all the soap, which is extremely moisturizing, by the way, I meant to tell you guys that. It is so moisturizing and um, smells delicious. And then you get to keep the bottle to refill. So it is like a total win. I know it's just a hand soap, but I think it looks so pretty with the aesthetic of the bathroom. Really fancy smancy and you can refill it. We are coming into my coffee table area. Um, so the piece that is from Amazon is the Tom Ford book. And I'm mentioning this coffee table book because I get like a crazy amount of questions about the specific Tom Ford book. Tons of bloggers have this in their home. This is not something you people have never seen before, but um, it's really popular. It's got the bold Tom Ford print on the side. So if you wanted to put on a, on a high shelf sideways like that, you would still see the Tom Ford. And then on top, if you wanna set it on top of a flat lay, your coffee table, you're gonna get the really beautiful, bold, classy font. And I th think that's why everybody has this book is because of, it's just like really classy looking and the font is so pretty. That's bugging me. So the Tom Ford book is another Amazon favorite that I am absolutely obsessed with. And I don't know, if you're looking for pieces to fill certain areas in your home and play with, I recommend a piece like this because it can go in so many different areas really really beautiful piece from Amazon is this vase here this came off that channel that was recommended to me I'm pretty sure this is one of the many pieces that she recommended um, it's by Bloomingville and the reason it's just sitting out here is because I have to decorate the shelves in my bedroom and the shelves in my living room that we just came out of so I'm gonna use this piece in there I just haven't gotten started on the shelf work on it and I've more so gotten started working on these shelves first because when you walk into my home like they're the first thing you see so I've been trying to work on those first I'm working on the other shelves eventually <laughs> we're gonna get there but I'm gonna use this on those shelves I love it it looks like a beautiful vintage piece it's like a ceramic vase with a nice glaze on it. it. has nice texture. And I also think it'd be really beautiful with some twig or some pompous coming out of it just to give it an extra little juice, a little extra vibe. But again, this is one of those pieces that look like it came from Crate and Barrel or from McGee & Co or from Lulu and Georgia and that cost 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks. And it didn't at all, not even close. So it's just like another dupe home decor item that 
I recommend to you guys and it's really beautiful. Right, my next piece from Amazon is this farmhouse blanket. These have become so popular, the neutral woven blankets with the tassels on the end. They are on Zara Home, they're on H&M Home, but they are the cheapest on, I mean, they're on every website. But they're the cheapest on Amazon and this one specifically in the neutral color is perfect. I got a little cat hair fuzz on it, of course. It wouldn't be mine without the cat hair, am I right? Um, but how pretty is the pattern on this? And it's really neutral, so it matches the area. I am all about throwing blankets on everything just to give it more of a homey look. And also you can use the blanket. I also love throwing blankets like this specifically in my baskets. So you can see over there, I have one of the blankets. That's a really pricey one right there. And one of the baskets, I need a vacuum. I have cats. There's always fur and stuff everywhere. <laughs> But anyways, this is one that I got off Amazon specifically. I love the texture on it. It's really beautiful woven. I love the tassels. And I just have this one hanging on the side of my couch, again, to give it that really natural homey feel. This blanket is an A+. Plus. Okay, another item I got off Amazon is this basket. So my only downside of this basket is a little floppy. And honestly, it needs some throw pillows in it. Or I was going to put a faux tree in it and just to cover the tree. But these are so popular right now these little woven baskets and it has the detail all around it um so it kind of looks like this it was crushed in the box i just got it in as you can see it kind of has a fold to it so it really just needs some thickness put in it so it can mold back into place but it's a really nice basket very trendy right now very in style and was for a great price so it kind of pops in and out so i'm gonna stuff some pretty thick pillows in it leave it for a few days and let it get <laughs> let her get her form because she's struggling right now kind of wish i would have vacuumed before i filmed in here hmm that's an afterthought but this is what it looks like it's quite large and yeah it was for a pretty good price on Amazon. I just have to share this piece. This is not necessarily home decor. This is actually a gadget, which I'll do a gadget follow-up video for like YouTube and all the stuff I use from Amazon. But this is an iPhone holder. These are quite popular. I've seen quite a few people with it. Um, I've used this for a while because you guys know I always film on my iPhone. I also use my one with the ring light from Amazon. That one's really amazing. I mentioned that in my first Amazon video. But this is an iPhone or iPad holder. It looks like this. And my favorite thing about it is how sturdy it is because there is a weight in this part. It's like a heavy weight. So you can bend your phone or iPad any way you want. And um, it will not fall over so that's what i filmed the intro with my phone was sitting in this that's what i've been filming a lot of videos with since i broke my canon and they're not fixing them right now so this is it this is the brand i got it off amazon and it's really amazing really high quality Okie dokie, that is it for my Amazon home decor part one. I have a few more pieces coming in and I will be sure and share it with you guys if you're interested in that. I also have, these are the shelves by the way in my bedroom that I got to decorate. That's what I was telling you about that vase. I was like, I'm going to be using it. I just haven't put her in yet because I haven't gotten started up here yet. I'm honestly trying to get the bigger pieces in my bedroom done and then I will move on to little pieces. But, um, God, these lashes. I'm gonna fly away. I better not blink too fast. But that is it. I have more stuff coming, like I said, and I'll let you guys know. I also have stuff coming from Shein. Um, they have a home section, and you guys are like, girl, if you don't get on there and try that stuff out for us, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I said, okay, I'll but I ordered like a random assortment of home stuff, bedding, just all kinds of stuff. It just came in. So you guys will be seeing a Shein home decor slash all kinds of stuff from there um haul video very soon for me if you're interested in that i also have upcoming uh, i'm gonna be redoing my pantry so my pantry is a disaster like a true disaster i'm gonna look at this footage and be like girl why were your lashes that big and so i'm gonna be um filming soon me revamping my pantry because i have some organization containers coming in <laughs> and i'm gonna show you guys um the container store is like sold out of everything and for some reason it's like the container store is like we'll ship you your container in july and august it's on back order and i'm like okay and then you go to amazon and type the same brand of container in and they're all right there so i'm like okay <laughs> uh so I, I have that stuff coming in and i'm gonna film my pantry 
like clean out and organization video soon. So be on the lookout for those videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.